In previous sections I talked about general concepts of OSPF routing protocol and I showed you how you can configure your routers and put interfaces on their areas but every router was in uh, area 0. Now I have created some more areas. You can see that there are areas here between the two routers or switches and of course there is an area 1, 2, 3 on frame relay in, in, in connection between these routers so I'm going to show you how you can do this configuration. First of all I want to go to router 1 and put interfaces under these um, different areas. I need to go to enable mode and configuration mode first and I need to remove every router configuration using the no router OSPF1 now that the OSPF is going to be removed from my router so I add router OSPF1 again I, can, I prefer to add router ID manually using this command now the newer uh, syntax tells us that I can go under interfaces for example fast 00 and add that interface to the area that I need IP OSPF1 area 16 I guess let's check the topology and you can see that yes this is under area 16 and I hit enter now you can see that this interface is going under area 16 and one verification command is this to show IP OSPF interfaces brief tells me that this is under process ID 1 in area 16 and it's the say this waiting now I should remove OSP from other routers so that I do not receive these uh, you know uh, error messages here but now I'm going to interface fast 01 you can see that interface fast 01 is under area 0 so I prefer to add this so area 0 interface loopback 0 is going to be under area 0 as well because you can see in my topology that most of the you know rather ones um, you know depiction is under area 0 now that I have these added these interfaces I want to go to serial 0 interface and put it under area 1 2 3 so interface serial 0 0 is going to be under area 1 2 3 and hit enter now every configuration is done under router 1 so I end and save this let's go to router 2 and go to enable and configuration mode and using the no router OSPF1 I remove every configuration at once so OSPF1 router OSPF1 is going to be created interface fast 0 course let's go and add router ID here 110122 is the router ID interface fast 0, 00 is under IP OSPF 1 area 16 no that's gonna be area uh, 25 so I add 25 here interface fast 0, 01 is going to be under area 0 so I add this to area 0 and now you can see that I'm going to add loopback 0 to area 25 so I go to interface loopback 0 add this to area 25 and again I have a frame relay connection that is going to be under area 1, 2, 3 interface serial 0, 0 is going to be under area 1, 2, 3 now I have this configuration applied to my router to let's check the show IP interfaces of course IP OSPF interfaces in brief and now you can see that on fast 01 I have created one neighborship but other interfaces are in waiting mode or in point to point mode so serial interface is in point to point mode there is no neighbor on this a loopback 0 is going to be a point to point interface because I have changed the interface network type to point to point so that instead of a host IP address I will have a network ID in my routing table and database now I have configured everything here let's go to switch 1 and change the configuration on this switch on switch 1 enable configure terminal no router OSPF 1 and now router OSPF1 has a router ID of 110155 and under interface VLAN 25 I guess 
Let's check this. Yes, it is 11.25. I add the IPOSBF 1 area 25. And now I should see a neighborship that is going to be created right now. I end this and save every configuration command. You can see that this is the only interface that I had to configure. And let's go to switch 2 here. And switch to I have two interfaces and a loopback interface that is going to be under area zero. So on switch to enable uh, let's show IP interfaces in brief and exclude every unassigned interface. Now I have three interfaces. So I go to configure terminal. First of all I remove the router OSPF process one and let's do this. Now I add router OSPF1 process with router idea 110166. Under interface VLAN 16, I add IP OSPF process number 1 to area 16. And now you should see the neighborship is coming up. Under interface VLAN 36, I need to add this to area 0 so I add this to area 0 interface loopback 0 is going to be under area 0 as well and now you can see that switch to its configuration is done switch uh, rather 3 is configuration is the only thing that I need to do right now so I go to rather 3 and first of all I uh, show IP interfaces brief to see which interface is going to be configured. I go to configuration mode, router OSPF 1, I should remove this first. And again, router OSPF 1 is going to be there using the run 10.133 as the router ID. And interface fast 0, 0, I guess. Let's check this. Yes, it's interface fast 00, zero under IPO SPF1 area 0 and interface loopback 0 is going to be under area 0 again and the other interface serial 00, zero interface serial 00, zero is going to be in area 1, 2, 3 so I'm not going to configure serial 01 interface, uh, I'm going to do this in next sections when I'm going to talk about redistribution. But again, now you can see that I have this configuration and let's have the verification commands right now. Our other one, the first verification command that I need to run is this, show IP OSPF neighbors. You can see that I have three neighbors on three different interfaces. So IPOSPF interface brief tells me that I have created neighbors on the interfaces that I am expecting. And the loopback zero of course is there. Using the loopback mode, I'm going to change this to point to point. So I go to interface loopback zero and change the IPOSPF network type to point to point. So I type in this command and now it is going to change. So if I check the IPOSPF interfaces, show IPOSPF interfaces in brief, you can see that it has changed to point to point state. Now I end and save everything and then I'm going to check my routing table to see if all networks are accessible and reachable. So show IP route will show me the routes that are with OSPF and now you can see that some routes are tagged with IA that is inter area this means that these routes are from other areas than the area that I am in so let's check the other things you can see that some of the routes are 32 bits and on frame relay you can see this is happening on frame relay you can see that frame relay connection have host routes on OSPF and this is a uh, kind of default for frame relay connections. Uh, let's see other things for example the 
um, inter area routes you can see that this is there and la let's check the reachability for example I want to ping 110.155 and this is going to be unreachable and let's see what is the problem between this so I will go to router 2 and check the neighborship there by going to end and show IPOSPF interfaces in brief tells me that I have neighborship on every interface that I'm expecting to have this now some of the interfaces are in area 0 that is the area 0 that is between router 1 and router 2 others are in area 25 and that's okay I have this connection so I check the show IP route to see the routes that is available here and you can see that I cannot reach to switch 1's loopback interface now let's go to switch 1 and check the configuration here by showing IP OSPF interfaces brief that is my main uh, you know uh, verification command you can see that the only interface that is configured here is VLAN 25 I forgot to add interface loopback 0 to my area so IPOSPF1 area 25 is going to have this and it is going to be of course IPOSPF network point to point so I end and save this and now I can go to router 1 and check the routing table again uh, of course I can ping it and see if it is there after a while I should see the ping is going to be successful and it is successful and I can see that everything is going to be okay in my network now the only pro the, the only issue that I have here is this I have configured everything I have connectivity and I have uh, you know the the neighborship coming up but I have two different area zeros and this is going to be uh, problematic in the next section so I should solve this using one of the two approaches the first thing is adding a virtual link between the two areas using one of the areas for example area 16 or area 1 to 3 I prefer to have it in area 16 because it is a high speed in you know, a connection between router 1 and switch 2 these two routers both have you know some interfaces in area 0 the other approach is using a kind of tunnel a GRE tunnel between these two or rather 1 and rather 3 or rather 2 and rather 3 it, it doesn't matter which one do you select because you should uh, only select some routers that have interfaces in area 0 and have connection to each other so rather 1 and switch 2 are preferred because they have a high speed connection between these two but the other interfaces does not do not have this kind of connection so I'm going to select uh, I'm going to choose router 1 and switch to for the configuration or adding a uh, virtual link or the tunnel interface so I'm going to do this in next section